The OSI model, as we know, consists of seven distinct layers. The third layer of the model is known as the network layer. When you attempt sending data from one network to another, the role of this layer will be appreciated more. One very important protocol in this layer that allows for internetwork forwarding of data is the Internet Protocol. But before we know what the Internet Protocol is, we need to first of all answer the question, what is a network? Hello guys, today we'll talk about a network and its various types. The major aim for setting up any network is to share a resource. This resource we talk about can be hardware, software, or data. Under the hardware, a very common example is a printer. A printer usually has one serial port with which you can connect to a computer before printing a file. What if you needed to print from another computer within the same office? Normally, you will have to disconnect the cable from this computer and connect to the other one. But this is a tedious process because there could be multiple computers you need to print from. On the other hand, if you properly set up a network, all devices can conveniently print from this printer by sharing it. The only downside, however, is that if this link becomes faulty or this computer shuts down, it will no longer be possible to access the printer. However, for some printers that have an Ethernet interface, they can independently connect to the hub or switch and become more available. Also, the resource can be software, mostly operating system software or applications. And the last type of resource is data, which is very common. Data such as a text file or document, video, images, or music. Okay. We now know why we need a network, simply to share a resource. Now, let's talk about how these networks are set up. Networks are classified based on purpose, size or geographical area of coverage, type of media used to connect devices, and many more. But in this video, we'll only discuss the classification based on area of coverage and discuss other classifications when necessary in future presentations. The first type of network we'll talk about is the local area network. Just like the name implies, it is one that is set up locally for private users. It is set up within a home, an office, or a group of buildings. This is usually managed by an individual or private organization. In terms of size, they typically range from 100 meters to 10 kilometers in distance. They do not require any telecoms operator in order to function as they are small in size. This type of network is one where Ethernet technology is mostly applied. The metropolitan area network is one that connects multiple local area networks within a city or municipality. In terms of size, it can range from few kilometers to hundreds of kilometers in distance. The last type of network we'll talk about is the wide area network. It is one that connects multiple networks across cities to allow for intercommunication over a large distance, ranging from hundreds of kilometers to the size of a country, a continent, or even the entire world. An example of a wide area network is the Internet, and it is the largest network of computers that exist. Other network types are personal area network and campus area network. Check out the questions on the next slide. If you like this video, you can support us by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video. Thank you for watching.